Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. Now that we're pretty much done with making our city, we want to move on to the most important element of our poster, our characters. Our first character is this handsome fellow. His name is Zero Kazama. He's an accomplished actor, stunt performer, and a filmmaker. He's the host of the hit television show Silent Library. Also, he is the client for this poster. I'm making this poster for a movie that he plans to make called Freezer Burn, and he is the star. Now I'm going to be doing a lot to this image. I'm going to change the colors, I'm going to add special effects, and I'm going to even add elements to himself and his weapon as if they were already there. But the first thing I want to do is isolate him into a mask, so when I move him over to a poster, the image will be seamless. To do that, there are two different methods. There is pixel masking and there is vector masking. I will show you both, but the best method for masking a person is vector masking with the pen tools. I'm going to spend the next few videos doing that, showing you the different techniques to create a perfect mask. Let's get started. Grab the pen tool at the toolbar, or press P for the hotkey. Place your mouse around the first area, and just start clicking. Click around the area until you have a good mask, which will take a little bit of time, so bear with me. Now I'm not going to spend too much time on this right now because I'm just showing you the basics. But once you get an, a mask clearly put together, you're going to create a path just like this. Obviously it's not done yet. But the one thing that you notice is that certain parts of the path are not completely covered. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. The first you can do is select the direct selection tool, click on our image, and click and hold on each of the points to manipulate them. But there's still straight angles going around a curved surface, which is going to be especially true when it comes to Zero's face. So, in the next video, what I'm gonna show you is how to create curved areas around your path to create the perfect mask.